Hey guys, welcome to the show. In the latest version of Moncam Pro, guess what? You can now record 4K video resolution, two streams of 4K. I've tested it on the iPhone 14 Pro as well as the iPhone 11 Pro. Moncam Pro, Multicam Pro, Mo 4K edition, 4K. They both can record 4K video resolution. Amazing stuff. Now, if you do try it recording three cameras at once, you can do that on the set, Moncam Pro, download today. It will record the main camera 4K and the other two cameras, it will grab 1080p streams. Now this is actually grabbing 4K resolution from the phone. It's not upscaling it, it's actually doing it. So this is the iPhone 11 Pro, that's the 14 Pro. It's all working well. And look at this, I'm gonna hit the record button just like that. It starts recording and we have two streams going on at the same time. And now I'll show you the Photos app, check this out. The video that we just recorded, I saved it out as one combined file. You click on the info button there, it tells you, look at that. 4K resolution recording. And it's not just saving out as 4K, it's actually using 4K as a stream. So it's gonna be high quality stuff. Now, if you go back into the app and save it as separate files, it's gonna record that separate files. So wooga, 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 wooga. Hit stop, go back here. Now, see that? 4K video resolution and 4K video over here as well. Fun happening. Now, you can also record Three camera streams at the same time. I'm going to save that one here. And like I said, the main camera will be 4K. However, on the iPhone 11 Pro and the 14 Pro, they fall back the other two cameras at 1080p. So I hit stop right there, go back into the app, and you'll see that the main camera here, 4K, boom, amazing. And the second camera drops down 1080p. Of course, the code is extensible. So if Apple release a new phone, it will automatically, if allowed, will go to the maximum resolution that's possible. It only drops down resolution if the device says, I can't handle it don't have enough compute and the code is extensible. So that means if Apple do release a new device that sports more 4Ks at the same time, e.g. maybe the iPad Pro 2022, maybe that will have it, it will automatically do that. And it will work at the highest resolution as long as the device can support it. So if the device overheats or it's too much processing power required, it will fall back and degrade to a lower resolution. Right now in my tests on the iPhone 14 Pro, if you do three streams, it will record the main camera at 4K and the other two streams at 1080p as well. Also happens on the iPhone 11 Pro. Look at that, technology improving. Well, it's about the same, isn't it? And uh, front and back, if you just do two streams at the same time, it will do 4K on both, which is pretty cool. Now I've tested it on my devices locally. Seems to be working well, but any issues that you guys have, let me know. I'll push out a bug fix and hopefully you're gonna love it. It's gonna be amazing. You'll finally get to view yourself and everyone around you in 4K. The dream has become a reality. Hope you guys found this video useful and stay tuned for the next update. We're gonna be having FPS. We're gonna be pushing out frames per second. It's gonna be cool. Enjoy it. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the streams. <laughs> Multicam Pro, 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 Pro. Multicam, Multicam Pro, Pro. Don't be a multicam basic, be a multicam pro. Multicam pro, multicam pro, mo 4K edition, 4K. <laughs>